To achieve better browsing behavior, we have to start with two depressing facts. First, most web pages contain some form of bias and falsehood. The ancient overlord in charge of truth and accuracy died decades ago. Now we are stuck with the overlord of crazy babble. Two, everything you do and everything you type on the internet is recorded, analyzed, and resold. It is very hard to be private or anonymous. Many sites monitor your activity. The advertisers monitor your activity. Most browsers monitor your activity. Many ISPs monitor your activity. Many DNS servers monitor your activity. Most search engines monitor your activity. The government monitors your activity. Monitoring web browsing isn't the exception. It's the rule. You should assume that your identity is known, assume that a record of your activity is kept, analyzed, and resold. Given these depressing facts, better browsing behavior is a necessary challenge. You are trying to make progress in the face of multiple threats. Let's start with the threat of being ignorant of important reality and the threat of being crippled or manipulated by lies and misinformation. We all start by believing that the internet is a beautiful conduit of pure golden truth. Then when it betrays us, we think it's a pack of lies. But the reality is in between. Our internet is a vast pile of truth-bearing ore. <laughs> if we wish to own golden truth, we have to learn how to extract and refine it for ourselves. We all need to be researchers and critical thinkers. Any time that you use the internet, it is also using you. There is almost no privacy on the internet, but individuals have no standards for evaluating the value of our privacy. This makes it hard to analyze the threat of losing privacy and self-control. Privacy must have value because rich, powerful groups want to take it away from us. Personal information must be useful for controlling and manipulating people because all the groups that control and manipulate want our personal information. They all say, nothing to see here. You won't feel a thing. Don't worry, it's not important. Move along. But Advertisers, political parties, powerful corporations, and governments all work very hard to collect our personal information. If this bothers you, then one way to cope is to train yourself to create favorable records. Every page you view, every video, every post, every comment, all of it creates your permanent online record. Try not to think of this as crippling self-censorship. Try to think of the internet as an opportunity to express your happy, happy, joy, joy self. And if that expression is a complete fabrication, then it's all the more useful for preserving privacy. Improved browsing behavior can help us obtain critical truth, and it can help reduce the damage of privacy loss. But don't take my word for it. Do some research and decide for yourself 